Index funds, especially ETFs, exchange traded funds, are extremely popular these days, especially for people who have not much knowledge about stock investing. They say if you take an index fund, it's passive. You don't have to do anything. It all goes automatically. But index funds are not passive at all. I like to explain you why. Let's assume you have a bunch of kids, a hundred kids who are running a hundred meter, you know, a hundred meter competition, a sprint. And you want to put a bet on the kids and decide, you know, who has won at the end of the day. Now, let's assume they start all at different times and you don't really know what a good time is. So what you have to do is you have to collect a few kids' times in order to identify a typical time run on the 100 meters. That way you can identify if the choice you did, the bet you did, is better or worse than the average. So let's assume we do that. Let's assume an authoritative person goes out there and selects the 10 biggest, tallest kids. And they call it the Big Kid Index. Now, of course, these 10 big kids will provide an average running time and you can compare yourself against it. That's exactly what stock index funds do, what ETFs do when they're based on a stock index. They pick the biggest stocks in the market and they call it typically the big cap index. Big cap for big market capitalization. You can already here see that this is a not very smart way of selecting stocks. Just as it is not really smart to take the tallest kids, it's much better to take the fastest, but they're more difficult to identify. Now, the important thing here is though, that picking the larger stocks is actually an active decision. So even index funds are active stock pickers. The only difference is, it's not the asset manager, the private person picking the stocks, it's the stock exchange picking the stocks. And they pick the stock actually quite arbitrarily. First of all, they just take stocks that are happen to be quoted on the stock exchange. Even if they're completely or unrepresentative of the economy, they still just pick those. And second, they make a really big assumption. They decide to weigh the stocks. They weigh bigger stocks that are more expensive with a higher share in the index than stocks that are less expensive. And you can already see that this active decision of picking stocks is not very smart. But the most important thing for you as, a, as an investor is index funds are not a passive investment. The only difference is the activity is done by the stock exchange and not by a private wealth advisor. Take that into account next time when you pick your own stocks. Good luck with it.